Today, a delighted President Ahmadinejad toured the Isfahan nuclear plant and then showed off Iran's latest triumph. What he described as the first reactor fuel rod made entirely in Iran. If true, it means that Iranian scientists, in the face of international condemnation and sanctions, now know how to turn raw uranium into enriched nuclear fuel ready to power a reactor. That also means they're several steps closer, theoretically, to being able to make a weapon. My own personal reading of it is that they want to master the fuel cycle, that they have not yet made a decision as to whether or not to go forward with a bomb. The Iranian government has demonstrated today that its nuclear program is up and running quite smoothly, and nothing, not even conciliatory messages from the White House, can take that away. But it could entice Iran back to the bargaining table. At a speech in Isfahan, the president said, if the dialogue is based on mutual respect, we are ready to talk. My administration will seek engagement with Iran. The United States is too, with the Obama administration announcing this week that America will be at the table as a full participant in negotiations. We believe in dialogue. Meanwhile, Iran's scientists will be forging ahead. The Iranian regime hopes its nuclear program is such an established fact now that other countries will just have to live with it. But it does appear willing to allow surveillance to reassure the world it isn't building a bomb. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Isfahan.